hi guys welcome back to the ctx cloud this is the video number four on this tricks training so for that uh, for in this video uh, we are going to install our uh, license server for the Citrix. so i have installed uh, i have created one vo more virtual machine uh, this is the pcs svr Citrix, and this is the windows server 2019 so i have installed this server and joined into the domain so I have taken the RDP of this server. Uh, now we are going to mount the Citrix ISO on this so that we can install the license server. Go into the DVD drive, click on browse and share ISO Citrix and then 1912 LTSR. Virtual apps and desktops click on that and click on ok click on apply ok open the file explorer right click and then install so we are going to start our virtual apps and delivery uh, icon so click on start so here we need to select license server because we have uh, we are going to install a standalone license server so click on license server I need to s accept all the terms and conditions from the Citrix so click on next next so the, these are the ports for the license server in Citrix 7279 and then install so guys meanwhile uh, the license server is installing let's discuss about the some ports of the license server so 27th of uh, thousand port number is used when we connect the delivery controller to the license server while configuring our site this is the vendor daemon port so 7279 is the vendor daemon port uh, 8082 uh, so this is the administration port so when we install any license fi file uh, on the uh, license server so this port is used to open the console and this is the like web browsing port so if you are using the license server via web browser so 8083 is used and it's the direct when you are using uh, the license server from a uh, like directly from the icon so 8082 is used so i'll show you click on finish so let's see guys uh, the difference between 8082 and 8083 so go to the license and then license administration console click on ok and you can see that it's connected by 8082 and this is the legacy environment in the legacy we will use this uh, port 8083 if I'm going to close this and let's see the difference between 80 and 83 so click on license manager and you can see that it's connecting 8083 and go to the browser and you can see that it's a web browser console from both the websites I mean from both the ports you can manage your licenses so this is the like uh, difference here so for that let me refresh this click on install and here from here you can install the license file in other case uh, if you go to the 
एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन कंसोल This is the legacy console. Uh, earlier, we are managing li licenses from here. So here, you need to go to the administration. Then, cloud as administrator. From here, you need to go to the, the vendor demonstrix and import a license file and browse, and then you need to import license file. So, uh, just wait, let me download the license file for my Citrix environment. So, guys, I have downloaded the Citrix license file from the portal. So, I'm going to place this license file here and click on paste now we need to go on the import license file go on the browse click on c drive new folder select this license file ok and override if any a license file exists here just override and then import license file so you can see that my license file has been imported successfully after that i need to reboot the server and let's meet in our next video